going long the short the yen against all the other pairs and going long the dollar the euro against the other so we're going to take the euro dollar and we can take the euro aussie and the euro pound because i have to uh, rush so we will do those three and we did the rest so we're going to do the euro dollar euro aussie and the pound the euro pound okay we're at the top of the hour so let's take a five minute break and we'll come back and finish those okay let's take a five minute break guys the euro pairs and then we'll take a look at the dollar swiss okay now first of all we want to look at the euro dollar because it is now has changed the trend and it has become starting the bull market you can see this very nice congestion this is what Khaled was explaining it to you in the room the other day I think it was uh, yesterday Friday or Thursday and that was the break so right now we are coming towards the next one here which is the 134.85 we're only 25 pips away from that structure point. Now, if we do trade above the 134.85, this is pretty much what's going to happen. You see that explosive move? There's the behavior right there. That is the behavior. On the way down, it stopped at 85 when it broke it take us to the 131 on the way back up it took us all the way and this number the 138.80 this is one of the biggest numbers the 138.80 and the 137.37 and then the big so pretty much going above the 134.85 should actually give us a very nice move to the upside so where are we going to take this the 134.85 i'm gonna put it here it's pretty somewhere it's just like 30 pips above the range so we need to be buying this as soon as it gets above the above 134.70 so we're buying it above 134 and look at three four seven zero the next structure point is one three four eight five and as you can see you may notice there is a small distance between the entry point and the structure point the structure point is 134.85 and I'm, I'm telling you to go along at 134.70 because if it gets above that it should explode and you won't be able to miss it so it's actually prudent if you're able to get in early so if it triggers those stops you're already in if it doesn't then your exit is your stop is going to be very tight so the risk reward in this trade is fantastic because if it moves you're going to make a lot of money if it fails then you're losing a very small amount so this is like a gift in uh, if you want to be looking at it this would be something like this you can consider this as a gift So when you buy it at 134.70, you're buying it at the breakout of a gift towards the structure point, which is the 134.85, okay? Now you buy at 70, we'll put our stop on the other side, which is 134.40. Okay, right here. And on the short side, I really don't want to be looking at shorting the euro right now. Uh. 
hypothetically, let's can we can go short below 133.92. Okay, and if we do the structure, short point is 133.59, and if I go short below 133.92, I'm going to put my stop. Yeah, 134.20. Okay, that is the euro dollar. We're buying the euro above 134.70. If we do, we have a structure 0.15 pips away, which is 134.85. And then our stop is going to be 134.40. On the short side, we're going to go short below 133.92. And my structure short point is 133.59. And my stop is going to be 134.20. Okay? That is the euro. Uh,